Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Tuesday evening and this evening we are talking budgeting, sort of-ish. Um, why we're doing that is because obviously I'm still skint till payday, which is another two weeks away. Um, so I'm looking at it going, oh, that's not worked the way I've planned. And obviously... I am okay food wise and such things like that. Although the the car's down to its last 30 miles of diesel, so I need to go and put diesel in tomorrow. So the little bit of cash that I had put aside that's gradually dwindling to not an awful lot now. Um but the bills are paid and do you know everything's I'm not actually struggling, but I'm skint. And I wondered how everybody else deals with that because, as I say, it's not a problem. But I have plans. I want to do things. And I was sitting there yesterday going, I'm just going to do that. And then if I do that and I do that and I'll get that. And I was like, no, you won't be getting anything. Oh, neither will. Okay. So that has to go and hold. And it's amazing how when you start planning things and you're like, right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then there's a cost involved that you didn't think of when you first thought of what you were going to do. And you're like, oh, okay, so I'll not be doing that then. And I know Frugal Queen of France, Er Jane, does fabulous budgets. I mean, she budgets down to the last penny. I have never managed that yet. However, I am getting better. Um, but my major budgeting is pay the bills and then whatever's left, what do you want to pay or what is coming up that you need to stash for and then whatever's left is mine. <laughs> so very basic. But that also got me to thinking, where did you learn to budget? I learned to budget when I was a student. I was living away from home and I lived for a week on a three pound bag of potatoes, a loaf of bread, a block of cheese and a block of butter and a bag of onions. So I had like Lainey's potatoes, Lainey's potatoes with cheese, toast, cheese toasties, cheese and onion toasties, all sorts of variations like that. Um, because I was ricked, I was completely skint um, and I couldn't get money till I went back home at the weekend. Thankfully, I had a lift home each weekend. Um, but that was how I learnt to budget because that week I was like, oh, I'm never doing that again, like, ever. It's not worked out 100% of the time. There are other times when I have had to call my parents and borrow money in days days gone by. However, nowadays we're not too bad. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But I know there's a lot of... Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, why why are we not taught to budget at school? Why are we not taught how to deal with such things, you know, as we're growing up? And I think that would be a great idea. I also think it would be a great idea for any sort of community group that's that's growing to have a budgeting thing or a planner thing. You know, here's a planner, use it. Um, because I, as I say, although my, my planner, I don't use it 100% for exactly as it's set out. I still use all the sections, just not every month. Um, and maybe not for exactly what they're, they're designed for. Um, so yeah, I was, I was just having this whole thing of, you know, full of good intentions Sitting here going, right, okay, I'm skinned, I can do this, I can do that. And what I'll do is I'll do this. And then I was like, no, I need that. And it's so irksome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change what my intentions were. And over there I have a, do you know those trolley things, those little island trolleys that you get in your kitchen? So my mum had one of them, so I brought it down here when we had to sell her house. And at the moment it's covered with a lot of jars. A lot of jars. And if you remember when I showed you the prepping shelves, I've got a couple of blank shelves up there. So I'm going to move the jars up there. 
And then I'm going to put my stand mixer and my pasta machine, because I'm loving that pasta machine. I used the rest of the pasta yesterday for dinner. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be using that quite a lot. Um, so I'm going to put that over there and start rearranging. So my, my cunning plan at the moment is, you've got no money, what are you going to do? Your house needs reorganised and has done for the last like 10 years. Get it done. So today I did the dishes. Well, I put the dishes in the dishwasher when I came in from work. That was my thing. I actually did something when I came in from work. So we're going to try and do little bits and bods as we go on. And that means that when I do get to the glorious payday, I will be more able to decide what I need and what I want. Because you can't always have what you want. But it would be quite good to have what you need. And that's my that's that's the plan. So at the moment, if I was looking at my, my needs and my wants, I don't actually need anything apart from diesel. My wants are a whole lot different. But I think as you get older you realise that, you know, you have to be more sensible about this. So yeah. That, that was my thought today was, you know, all these good intentions I had. And then I realised that payday wasn't quite when I thought it was going to be. It was, it was another week away. <laughs> so, yes, you can expect some videos of the rearranging of the household to make it more frugal friendly, to make it more organisationally friendly. And I'll let Kat tell you the rest. Catch you later.